This is our off-grid water system tour and first we're going to see how much water we have and whether or not it's frozen. <laughs> Open her up. All right, Jill, give her the inspection. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh, it's not frozen. Not one little tiny bit. It looks like there's about six to 800 gallons and there's no ice in the water tank. This is a 2,500 gallon tank. We dug a giant hole and buried it three feet deep. The water actually comes out of the bottom of the tank and runs down alongside of the house here and then turns and goes underneath the footer into the crawl space. You're probably wondering how we get the water in the tank. Let me show you. So Sarah and I are going to make a run to get water. We don't have a well right now. Hopefully that will be remedied in the future, but if you have ever put in a well, you know that they're not cheap. So we have been saving our pennies for a while. So what we do right now is we go into town and we fill up our water and then haul it back home and transfer it into this big tank. Come on, go for a ride. Come on, go for a ride. Come on, let's go. Can we go for a ride? She's a good boy. Alright, let's see. It's dripping. Woohoo! Ready to get some water. Into our big storage tank. Jules just made it back with the water right there. So now it's time to hook up the hoses and we gravity feed it over to the tank. Let me show you how we do that. We've got two hoses because it's far away. Hi, huh, Jules. Yeah. Whoa, this, you, almost, huh? you almost smacked me with Sorry. it. <laughs> this one is a little unruly, it's super stiff. Yeah. I like to cooperate. That's very true. But this, guys, is the white hose is actually the hose that you're supposed to use for drinking water. That green hose that's down there is probably poisoning us, giving us cancer, and about? all kinds of other terrible things. It is unsafe and not safety sally approved for drinking water. What's that? Fine. I believe it's fine too, but those are the technical rules. So we connect this white one to this right here. Ooh, there we go. And then we gotta stretch this guy out. Try to as best as possible without kinking it, which is always tricky. <laughs> Look how unruly it is! <laughs> it doesn't cooperate ever. <laughs> You are right, we could just buy two white hoses, but we didn't, we already had the green one, so we're just using it. When the green one gets holes in it and it's no longer good, maybe we'll buy another white hose. Where are you going? Here we go. I'm gonna get the water going through this one. Okay, I'm gonna work this one and get it uh, straightened out, just like Julie did that one. After we get it all straightened out, then we put it down here on the ground, like that, and we wait for the water to start flowing really good before we actually put it in the tank. So Jules is over there. Okay, running. Now we're waiting for it to start flowing good and get all the water out of the line. Oh, it's starting. Oh, that's like one flush going down the, going, see that? It's air in the line still. Like that right there. That's air. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I think the hose has prostate problems. I do not support you. All right, it's flowing good now. Now we'll just take it and put it in here. Take a look in there. Oh yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's dark in there. Oh, a little bit of light. So it's pretty far. Whoa, it's steamy now. It's well below the, the dirt line here. Like, ooh, it's pretty far down there. It'd be like a thousand gallons. For those of you that are concerned about our well being, uh, don't be because we actually filter all of our drinking water. <laughs> so we don't actually consume anything that comes directly out of this, although it is drinking water. Um, yeah, we filter it. So like I said, the trench comes right along the house here. We dug it down about three feet deep and then it turns in right over here underneath where the propane tank is into the crawl space. So let's go ahead. We'll head on inside go down in the crawl space. I'll show you our pump our pressure tank, and all of that that we run on our off-grid solar system. Our crawl space is in our laundry room right over here. This is our very sophisticated lid into our crawl space. <laughs> That's how we get down here. <laughs> all right, let's show you the tank and all the good stuff down here. This is our water pressure tank and this is the pump. This is a 120 volt pump. This right here is the pressure switch for it and it runs our house just like any regular on-grid house that runs on a well. We also have this little guy hanging right here. This is um, a thermometer. It has never actually gotten below freezing down here. So far, two winters and no freezing. Yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable down here right now. This right here is the temperature outside, the temperature down in the crawl space, the temperature downstairs in the cabin, and upstairs in the cabin. So like I said, the water comes from underneath the stem wall and the footer, it comes up here in the crawl space, comes into the pump here, and then it comes out of the pump and goes up into the house. We also installed this valve right here so that when we leave in the winter time, we can go ahead and drain all of the water out of the house. And this is just the last spot right here where we get the last little bit out to make sure that nothing freezes upstairs. Tux, what are you doing, bud? Hi. Oh, this is cool. It's got like a vignette with the lighting. As you can see above us, these are the pipes that for our propane. This one actually goes all the way to our kitchen um, stove. And then we also have all of our drain pipes installed already as well. Yeah, and underneath us here, we do have a vapor barrier that keeps the moisture from coming up through the ground. And no moisture is really coming through the stem wall at all where we backfilled against it. Mm -hmm. You can't see any moisture seeping in. It stays pretty dry down here. Yeah. and pretty warm yeah and the vapor barrier it does a really good job yeah like you can tell there's like mud underneath it <laughs> but it's not coming up into the crawl space oh now to get out how am i gonna do it oh. that was graceful <laughs> <laughs> From the pump, it comes up through the floor right here, and then it comes over to our manifold system here. We'll run all PEX piping in the cabin, cold and hot. Let's cruise over to Seth's room, and I'll actually show you the hot water heater. Knock, knock, Seth. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Seth. Hi. This is our on-demand water heater that it's actually in Seth's room right now and it works fantastic. It runs on propane. We did have it in the bathroom when we thought we were going to have to constantly adjust the temperature so we wanted it right next to the shower but we got it set to where it's really comfortable. Only occasionally we'll have to yell at somebody to go adjust the water but it works super super fantastic and we've never had a problem with it venting. We have a carbon monoxide sensor and it has never once gone off. And so this is right now, it's a temporary solution, but it works fantastic. Like Jules said, we have this here because it was in the bathroom, right? And it was easier just to flip it around to this side of the wall rather than replumb it and actually put it over in the laundry room where the water heater should go. But it's here, it's temporary, like Jules said, and it actually, back feeds into the hot water line which then goes over to the manifold and it provides hot water for the entire house we use the most hot water in the shower so we just leave it here for now and later when we remodel this place because there are changes coming up to it and expansions to the cabin <laughs> we'll get a proper hot water heater that is designed for indoor use this is not designed for indoor use we know that but like jules said 
We have no problems with carbon monoxide. It must burn really efficiently. This is the same one that we used while we were living in our tents. If you guys have been with us for a little while, you know that we started out in tents when we were building our house and this water heater worked as well while we were outside. It's just really good. Yeah, we actually tested it while we were still in Tennessee. And so this has been in constant use now for a year and a half, year and a half probably. Yeah. No problems at all. So um, why don't you turn on the hot water and we'll show them how it works. Okay. These numbers are actually in Celsius, not in Fahrenheit, guys. All right, let's go check out the bathroom, the kitchen, and we'll show you what we, how we use our water. This is our bathroom, you guys. It is just like any normal bathroom. We have a sink and it has cold water and hot water. And then we have a toilet. It is just normal, flushes just like a normal toilet. And then this is our shower. And it is just like any other shower. It has hot water and cold water, shower faucet, everything. Let's go take a look at the kitchen and I'll show you the water system in there. All right guys, so this here is the kitchen, of course and our kitchen sink, just like any normal kitchen sink, right? It's got hot water, it's got cold water, it's got a pull-out thing that sprays, <laughs> right? But of course, we don't drink the water out in our water tank because you just never know if a mouse or something's gonna crawl in there and die. So we do use this water filter, and this thing right here will filter like 10,000 gallons of water. It is excellent. We use it in Indonesia when we lived there, drinking like third world quality water. We put it in the top, it drips down into the bottom, and it makes delicious, clean, healthy water. Would you guys like to see a cabin tour, an entire cabin tour? If you want to, let us know in the comments below and that might be something that we do. That's gonna conclude the video for today, guys. If you would like to see more about what's going on on our homestead, there is a video right over there that you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day, keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second. Mm -hmm.